Genetic engineering is accomplished in three basic steps. These are the isolation of DNA fragments from a donor organism, the insertion of an isolated donor DNA fragment into a vector genome, and the growth of a recombinant vector in an appropriate host. DNA extraction and cloning. Following the selection of a gene based on the goal of the research, the candidate gene is isolated. The gene containing cell is opened and DNA is extracted. The gene is separated by fragmenting the DNA with restriction enzymes or amplifying the gene segment with polymerase chain reaction, PCR. These segments can then be extracted using gel electrophoresis. The gene is isolated and ligated into a plasmid before being inserted into a bacterium. The plasmid replicates when the bacteria divides, ensuring that an infinite number of copies of the gene are available. Gene Design after cloning a gene, genetic engineers proceed to the next step, which involves designing the gene to function once inside a different organism. In a test tube, this is accomplished by cutting the gene apart with enzymes and replacing specific regions that initiate and terminate transcription, such as the promoter and terminator regions. A selectable marker gene, which usually confers antibiotic resistance, is added to make it easier to determine which cells have been successfully transformed. The gene can also be modified at this stage to improve expression or effectiveness. These manipulations are carried out using recombinant DNA techniques, such as restriction digests, ligations, and molecular cloning. Gene delivery. A variety of techniques are used to insert genetic material into the host genome. Some bacteria have the ability to naturally absorb foreign DNA. This ability can be induced in other bacteria through stress, for example, thermal or electric shock, which increases the permeability of the cell membrane to DNA. Uptake in DNA can either integrate with the genome or exist as extrachromosomal DNA. DNA is typically inserted into animal cells via microinjection where it is injected directly into the nucleus through the nuclear envelope or via viral vectors.